The Pentium Pro from Intel is the first of their sixth-generation CPUs targeted at the consumer and server markets. The processor was relatively unusual in that the Pentium Pro used a unique on-package cache arrangement. The processor and the cache were on separate dies in the same package and were connected closely by a full-speed bus. The dies had to be bonded together early in the production process, before testing was possible. This meant that a single, tiny flaw in either die made it necessary to discard the entire assembly, which was one of the reasons for the Pentium Pro's relatively low production yield and high cost. Pentium Pro 0 .35, 0 micrometers. The 150 MHz Pentium Pro processor dies BO, CO, used a 0 0.50 micrometers BICMOS process. The 166, 180, and 200 MHz Pentium Pro processor dies SA0, SA1, SB1 used a 0.35 micrometers CMOS process. The SA0 stepping is logically equivalent to the CO stepping, but on a different manufacturing process. The 256 kilobytes L2 cache dies 256 alpha 256 beta used a 0 0.50 micrometers BICMOS process. The 512 kilobytes and 1 megabyte L2 cache dies 512 alpha 512 beta 1024 gamma used a 0.35 micrometers CMOS process. The 1 megabyte L2 cache models were implemented with two 512 kilobytes dies plus the processor die. L2 cache on all models was off die and ran at full CPU speed. Only the Pentium 2 overdrive supports MMX. The Pentium 2 overdrive processor is based on the 0.25 micrometers Pentium 2 Deschutes core, with the distinction that its L2 cache runs at full CPU speed, not Deschutes half CPU speed. Topic. See also. List of Intel Pentium microprocessors